guys, okay, so I am in like such a great mood. I don't know what it is, but I'm assuming it's, it's probably the beautiful weather. New York, oh my god, like, okay, you remember how I told you guys on my birthday it was like raining and it was disgusting and it was really windy? Yeah, well, a week before that it was like snowing and it was crazy. And now this week it's beautiful out and it's like 70 degrees. And for me, considering the fact that it was really, really cold and nasty out the other weeks, 70 degrees is like phenomenal weather and quite honestly my favorite weather is 70 degrees just because of the fact that it's not too cold and it's not too hot what's your favorite weather i don't know like for me it's just 70 degrees and it's like you know like that 70 degrees weather was there's that little breeze coming by and like you know it's just really nice you know it's sunny but it's not too bad so the fact like we're like Ooh! so you know like that's my kind of weather that i just absolutely love but of course like i don't go to the beach unless it's like 80 degrees though because I don't know, it's just the way I am. Well, maybe sometimes I, I don't know. It hasn't been summer for about a year, so I don't really remember. Is that sad? Yeah. But, um, I'm also happy because today is like a Friday to me. Because, well, obviously today is March 18th, Thursday. But it's like a Friday for me, considering like with school and everything. Because tomorrow I get to go on a field trip with my Italian class. Because if you don't know, I take Italian 3. And don't ask me to say anything because I don't know nothing. But, um... <laughs> Either way, um, we're going on an Italian trip, we're going to Little Italy, which is in Manhattan, and we're going to go to a mu museum and look at the Carnivale um, masks, and, sorry, I have like a little itch over here, and then once we do that, then we're going to go, like, look, just walk around Little Italy a little bit, and then once we do that, oh my god, we're going to go out and eat, and my teacher, she told us a few options that we have, and oh my gosh, like, one of the choices is penne alla vodka, and my favorite is penne alla vodka when it comes to Italian food. That and chicken parmesan. Now, I love um, penne alla vodka when it has the chicken strips in it. I don't know if you've ever had it like that. I know a lot of people, they put bacon in it. But I had it once with um, chicken, and it was, like, phenomenal. And, um, yeah, I tried it, and it was just amazing. So our teacher was like, you could get chicken in the penny alla vodka. So I was all happy. And then today she was talking about how we're not going to be able to get any meat because it's a Friday. And if you guys if you guys aren't Catholic, my school is Catholic. And yeah, they don't allow eating meat on Fridays when it's in Lent. So if you want to know more about that, just look it up. Because I don't feel like talking about it. Like, yeah, this isn't religion class I get enough of that in school <laughs> oh my gosh today in religion class they had an assembly for us okay now this is a very touchy subject okay I'm about to speak about abortion if you do not want to like start hearing about abortion or something or if you're gonna have something rude to say about what I'm about to say then just leave right now okay because anyone can have an opinion on abor abortion now personally I am pro-life okay and I was always a little bit iffy about when it comes to being raped right and I was like, well, if someone's raped, then I guess they have the right to have an abortion. But then there was this lady who came to my school. Her name was Liz, but I don't know her full name. I'm sorry. But she's been, like, talking to the UN and a whole bunch of other stuff. Like, she is getting big. And um, she came from a southern state. I forgot exactly what state. And she, in high school, her senior year, she was um, she was raped. And she, gave, she was given, a, like, a drug so that she wouldn't remember anything and yeah so she wound up getting pregnant and she scheduled for an, abor an abortion and her cousin was like listen I know you you're smart and you can't have this abortion knowing you because you can't kill a baby and basically to make a long story short she was saying that not having that abortion was just the most beautiful thing ever now this whole video isn't supposed to be about abortion i was just about to say how sweet that is that even though something so bad happened to her she was still able to make something sweet out of it because now she says that her baby it's like the best thing that ever happened to her so it's just like a little side note so ignore the whole like abortion thing and just think about how something really bad could happen to you but just make the best out of it and things may happen to you that are so much better so if you're having like a down day or something just think that it's only something good could come out of it because how much worse could things get you know so yeah don't get touchy on the whole abortion subject i just wanted to mention um you know to look at the bright side of stuff and yeah so i got a little sad track then i was looking at myself in the cabin okay yeah also we're not in my um my bedroom today obviously like you can see no pink walls so the, the lighting is pretty crappy so i'm sorry about that 
But yeah, okay, so basically, I think that's basically it. I mean, you wanna say hi to Chrissy? She's sleeping, but we could still bother her anyway. Hold on. Oh, she's not sleeping anymore. Once I said her name, she was just like, hey, how you doing? Hey, you guys, did you subscribe yet? You must subscribe. Listen, you must subscribe. Or else. Aw. You like the screen, puppy? I love you, my baby. Shut up, Tinky. Okay, I guess that's it, guys. So, yeah. Um, I don't know.